In the recent times, waste decomposer has been one of the most popular organic interventions in India. Even though it was introduced as a bio waste decomposer, farmers have found several other benefits like enhanced soil fertility, pest and disease control, reclamation of problematic soils, nematode control, etc. On one side, the claims were high. On the other side, there was little scientific validation. In this scenario, Nature's Wise tried to bring the facts to the people. Is waste decomposer a myth or a reality? An exclusive interview with Dr. Kishan Chandra, Director, National Center of Organic Farming, Gajiabad, Uttar Pradesh. Cow dung has been in our culture for long yeah. and we are used to it because that's why you came across the benefits of cow dung. And you know, there are lots of bacteria. Yes. And why these three specific bacteria are so special? Apart from there may be few lakhs of bacteria. How did you find the difference between these three bacteria are excellent? There is lot of bacteria there, that is true. My target was earlier because why I have given the name of waste decomposer. My target was only composting. I have never thought about the uh, this disease control or soil. I have never thought it. Only I was trying to reduce the uh, this time period of the composting. That's why we have given the name of the waste decomposer. So, but when it has came in the field, then farmers have reported this, this other benefits. They started using experiment and doing it. Then we also started the work and that has given the multiple action. And now that is right, in the cow dung it is crores of bacteria are there. But it is in limited form. It is, it is 100 to 1000. Suppose your soil is alkaline. So it is blockage of your uh, your radicals of uh, ionic radicals and plus ions minus ions are there. So that release the minus ions. So when it releases the bind binded form of the ions, it be soil becomes your rich in the that minerals. So soil and all your pH will come down automatically. His soil has been changed in six months with the five application and lot of earthworms has came. He is not able to plow the thing. It is a came lot of uh, news, news and after one year if you walk in his field you will feel like a carpet. So this changes in his soil, total soil. And what he is doing all the grasses, all the waste, all the crop waste he is putting main thing organic farming we are doing a multi crop. So multi crops he is doing. Multi crop you do disease control is already there. When you use all the uh, crops because uptake is there. All nutrient comes in the uh, your uh, in uh, plant. So when you are mulching it and decomposing is fast. So everything is allowable. That is the only concept. Put it everything in the field. Cow dung or your waste anything waste even household build that also you put in the field and decompose it. So that will change your total scenario. They now has came to the from the farmer side in the fisheries also. They have used, I have uh, given this culture some persons they have used in the, if you take a cow dung, put this culture, two, two ton cow dung, put this culture, wet it and keep it for 10 days and then use it in the pond. So when you are using it in the pond, it is half decomposed, it is a source for the, your athwams. So it has no threat to the any environment, water, what I told you put in the water, your fish will not die. If fish is not dying, it is not threat to the your aquatic plant. It will increase the plantation in the aquatic system. Air, when you put in the air, it just clean the air. That's why your all the bees are coming. When you are spraying on the plant, it again soil it generates the earthworm. So this all it shows it is a total holistic and your environmental friendly product. And it is no side effect. If side effect there, I, I will not, not have. Th three years we are using it in my campus itself. I am putting uh, this material in cleaning of the floor because it contains organic acid. And very interesting part I told you. Some lady they have started. Uh, she is face facing the problem of choke in uh, their house. She has put 10 liter in the uh, this in the system. It this choke has been cleaned. So same thing I repeated in my uh, campus, it has, uh, it has cleaned the choke. And now we are putting in the toilets, we are not getting any bad smell. Even fungus, whatever disease, uh, disease comes from the toilets, that is also not there. That's where we are, now we are recommending for the toilets also. And no bad odor will come, no smell, no fly, no your this uh, 
the mosquitoes. You talked about mulberry, it has nematodes problem. Nematode will not arise if in your in closed circuit, everywhere nematode problem. In the Haryana we have done, in uh, Rajasthan we have done. If you use it 1000 liter per acre five times, after five months you will not find a single nematode. A couple of specific cases, in grapes if you take. Uh, down a million powder mildew. Yes, yes. In pomegranate, bacteria and anthracnose. Right, right. So, have you any documented evidence handling anthracnose or bacteria in pomegranate? In general, I can say whatever because personally, from our side, we have not done, but I have given the culture to the uh, this concern departments. They are doing it. But farmers report what you are getting. This they are not facing any problem. Once they spray. After, after three three spray, it just is controlled 50 percent. After five spray, it is they are not facing any, anything. Not a single disease, pest, insecticide, nothing is. So this totally free. And mulberry also. Mulberry plant, if you put leaves will be bigger and it will not affect to the, your worms. If it is affecting the worm, the, the leaves will not eat.